Hey, my loves, Dr. G in the building. Listen, baby, this message is from this morning. The Lord had me up at 6 a.m., okay? I got done recording this message at 6.53 a.m., to be precise, and my spirit was grieved. I was upset, but this is a message for many of you, okay, especially for kingdom builders, especially for people who are being promoted and advanced in this season, okay? God is putting some of us back in our rightful positions okay because even as you get elevated there's a possibility that you can lose yourself and he does not want or need any of us losing ourselves or getting ahead of him okay so listen to this message and take heed all right it was based on something i heard and i'm sure the rest of you have heard <laughs> <laughs> as well so just listen there's some some yelling a little bit um but again i was just letting the holy spirit flow so here we go what's up kingdom family dr g is in the building can we pause right there why do i sound so angry <laughs> it's like what's up kingdom family We're like girl okay i wasn't angry i was again just grieved in my spirit maybe a little upset i, I was okay go ahead <laughs> And I'm here with a quick message because something is slightly disturbing my spirit. And I know that when I'm agitated, it's really because the spirit, right? The Holy Spirit living inside of me is agitated and it wants to get this message forth to his people. So listen, my loves. Hallelujah. So you have to understand this. I never want our people okay in this christian walk this faith walk i never want us to get to a certain level in our faith walk where we act like we've never sinned okay we're, we act like we've never been sinners or we get too far in our faith walk where we believe that it can't be us it, it can't be us to slip up again it can't be us to lose our mind it can't be us to lose everything that we've ever gained in this world like no my loves in reality it can be you and sometimes god will make it be that you part. but in him making it be you that he's using your life as an example what he's going to be doing for other believers he's going to be testing their heart and their mind posture about it okay he's gonna he's going to say hey i'm going to present this before you okay this person or this situation and i want you to give me a, a thorough assessment on what you believe to be true about this person or this situation and what a lot of y'all are doing when god is giving y'all this test of assessing something right you are looking at a person's life like oh they're doomed oh they're sinners oh they're never going to get it right oh they're always going to be getting locked up and, and addicted and and crazy out of their mind no that is the m proper heart posture and, and, and way of thinking towards that person place or thing okay because god is looking at you to see are you going to judge these people are you going to mistreat these people are you going to cast these people out <laughs> whole time while he's testing you it's so that he can reveal your heart posture to you it's so that he can reveal your level of thinking to you and show you that maybe you're really the one who lacks maturity that you thought you had because you were following me in a religious way because you were following me all righteously doing everything that you deem to be perfect but my loves in reality it can still be us that follow that full show of the glory okay we're never too perfect to 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 not slip up again so that's why you have to humble yourselves or god is going to humble you because at the end of the day he calls us to love our people he just calls you to love people and he's going to work out their salvation he's going to have them work out their own salvation he can do a 360 in people okay he is the ultimate healer he is the ultimate deliverer and although he might use us as vessels as instruments that's all we are, but we're not the healer. Let us not get it twisted. And we're not the deliverer. Let's not get it twisted. Some of you feel too comfortable speaking on what's going on in other people's lives. And, and then you have other people tuning in, following what you're saying. And it's really misleading because you, you're making people think that you're guiding them to God. Because, oh, hey, I'm going to use this 
situation, this person, place, or thing, and I'm going to show you that this is incorrect. I'm going to show you that this is inappropriate for the Christian, the Christian community. I'm going to show you that this is what you should not be doing. Listen, baby, when God was correcting you, when, when, when and how did he do it? When and how did he do it? Most of the time, he did not embarrass you. Most of the time, he did it privately. Oh, shout out to Most of the time, he's trying to save you from public shame and humiliation because the world is already going to persecute you. It's hard enough to live in people and long time ago to live in your purpose. I'm speaking from a kingdom builder. Uh, 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 who's shut up, A woman who really stays submitted to the Lord and at his feet and understanding real life situations out here. People are going through real stuff. You don't understand what people are struggling with mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially that make them act a certain way, that make them think a certain way. And so who are you? Who are you? To sit up there on a high <laughs> horse and try to judge somebody else, That's to try right. to condemn somebody else. Out of order. God is going to get that person right. And then you're going to be the one on the outside looking in like, oh, man, I shouldn't have treated them that way. Oh, man, I misjudged that person, so I mishandled them. Mm. You mismanaged the situation because you had the wrong outlook on it. You mismanaged that person because you misjudged them. You didn't judge them with the heart and the eyes of God. You were supposed to see them through the lens of the Lord. Like, who does God call this person to be? I don't care how rough it is. I'm going to get in the, the oh, ka, 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 ka. I'm going to get in the ring with you, my brother, my sister. I don't care what you're struggling with. I'm coming to get you up out of the mud because I was in the mud. But some of y'all forget that y'all was in the mud, too. And this upsets me because I don't care how much God elevates you, how much God promotes you, the platform that he puts you on. Don't forget where you came from. And I'm so grateful for my experience. My whole shut up, babe. God kept me low my whole entire life. Mm. Who shut up, babe? Mm, hallelujah. I've, I've encountered so many people from so many different walks of life as a counselor. Mm. Who shut up, babe? Mental health issues, drug addictions. Polyamorous relationships, homosexuality, in and out of prison. Who's shut up, Murderers, stealers. Who's shut up, Emotionally disturbed, intellectually disabled, people with physical disabilities, children with autism. Tourette syndrome, all types of stuff. So that I could so that I could have a humble seat in this elevated position. Mm -hmm. So that I could have a humble view. Get that part. In this elevated position. Some of y'all in elevated positions. Oh, shall I be? Mm. Let's hide the a humble seat. Mm. God needs you to have a humble seat in this elevated position. I don't need y'all to miss that part. That make them think a certain way. And so who are you? Huh? Go, 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 go. To sit up there on a high horse and try to judge somebody else. To try to condemn somebody else. God is going to get that person right. Finish that person because you misjudged me with you. My brother, my sister. I don't care what you're struggling with. I'm coming to get you up out of the mud. Because I was in the mud. But some of y'all forget that y'all was in the mud too. And this upsets me. Tire your life. Mm, man. Mental health issues. Drug. Ooh. Ah, emotionally disturbed. Intellectually disabled. People with physical disabilities. Mm. Mm. Children with autism. Tourette syndrome. All types of stuff. So that I could, so that I could have a humble seat in this elevated position. So that I could have a humble view. Get that part in this elevated position. Some of y'all in elevated positions. Oh, shalom, mm. And you have a do, 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 a judging spirit. You have a negative outlook. You have a poor view. You forget how low you was when God found you. You was low, my brother. You were low, my sister. He didn't find you how you are today. He had to groom you into who you are today. 
I didn't even know I was breathing at that point. <laughs> I'm breathing in real life. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. I'm telling you right now, because God is going to be presenting people, places, and things to you, situations to you. He's going to say, give me an, assess an assessment of what you think this is. I need you to discern, right? I need you to have a spirit of discernment, okay? Hallelujah. What do you think about this? whole time it is going to be the lord seeing your heart and your thoughts about that person mm -hmm. and then in the background he will be working on that person he will be fixing that person he will be healing and making that person whole again okay and then you might find yourself on the the other side of it the reverse end of it the same stuff that you was pushed out of the bay. that's why you gotta watch what you say about other people because the same very thing that you talking about somebody else doing that could be your life, my love. That could be you. You talking about that homeless person on the street that keep asking you for money, that keep asking you for food, or you assuming that they want it for drugs, but that could be you on the street. Some of y'all forget where y'all came from. You forget where you started because you, you think you, are, you arrived. Let this be a warning to you that you have never arrived. You never arrived. On this faith walk journey, when you follow in Christ, you are always learning. You are a student of life. You should never, I don't care how much maturity he raised you up in him. You should always be a student to Christ. You should always be in the flow of the Lord. You should always be a child in your spirit when it comes to the things of the God. Hmm. Doesn't matter how far he promotes you, how much he elevates you, how much he advances you in life. Because if your heart gets too far from him, he's going to humble you. He is going to humble you. Keep learning. Keep growing. Never act like you've arrived that you can talk down and talk. Who shall I be? Y'all about to make the Brooklyn come out of me. Okay? Come on now. Who shall I be? Mm. <laughs> the audacity. Mm. 
everybody to get out my face. You want to address anything, you better address it with the spirit of God and with the wisdom of the Lord. That girl was hot. Woo! Tamali, she upset. Mm. <laughs> Thinking you doing somebody a favor. God turns sinners into saints. God turns sinners into saints. Act like you know. God wouldn't have a work to do. Who shall I love? If we was all perfect, we are imperfect becoming perfect. Okay? And we still not going to be perfect. God looks at our heart. And a lot of your heart is not correct. A lot of your heart is corrupted. A lot of your heart is not positioned right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love what the Lord is doing though. Because he's testing y'all. He's testing you. He looking at you. He ain't looking at them. He see what they doing. He already know he can fix that. In a, in a moment's notice, in a second, he can fix that. And turn that person's life all the way around. All the way around for his glory. All the way it. around for his glory. Ha, ka, ka, ka. Woo! That person going to be sold out to Jesus like never before. Whole life 360. Why? Because God going to meet them in that low place that they at. God going to meet them in that place of relapse that they living in right now. God is going to sustain them through their wilderness journey. Meanwhile, you following God, you doing everything perfect, religiously, whatever, thinking you in relationship with him, baby, and, and you're going to be the one that's going to end up far away from him. And you're going to need his grace again. You're going to need his mercy again. You're going to wish somebody had compassion for you again. You're going to wish that somebody could comfort you again. Humble yourselves. Lead people to Jesus. Not to more things of the world. And trying to portray it like it's Jesus. Because you're just leading people back to the world. Gossip. That's what it is. Christian gossip. <sighs> <laughs> Call it what it is. Mm, mm, mm. Holy Spirit. Mm. It's like worldly gossip. I, I thank you. Mm. Yeah, I gotta wake up. I thank you for keeping me low. <laughs> I thank you for keeping me sane. I thank you for keeping me humble. I thank you for keeping me understanding. I thank you for keeping me patient with people. You really had to work on that fruit, okay? You had to really develop that fruit in me. Keeping me patient. Mm. Allowing me to have love and joy and operate from peace, okay? Mm. Allowing me to help people be led to their purpose, to their freedom, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially. Mm. Leading them back to the things that are true, which is, which is being in your presence, which is adopting your character, your heart. Mm. Which is lending a hand to our brothers and sisters. Mm. Which is having a high level concern for people. Praying for people. Covering people how you would cover them. That, that, that calling, that requires a, a high capacity. A high capacity. And through situations, through circumstances, through encounters with people, you have trained us up. You have trained me up. You have trained your queen up so well to have a capacity to handle people the right way. In a way that you would mm, when they're in my presence. And if I ever fall short, because I do. I do. Every single day, it's something to repent of. Every single day, make a mistake. Every single day, thinking something wrong, emotions is out of, something ain't right, okay? People think they just sin physically, they just sin with their words. No, you sin with your thoughts and your emotions too, my love. Just because you ain't outward publicly, and that's another thing. <laughs> Living your life in the public, baby, okay? People think that they have a right to you. People think that they have access to you. You don't have access to my spirit. You don't have access to my heart. This is a shield. This is protected by the Lord. So don't ever come for people, people's heart and their spirit, like you have access to them. Just because they've given you access to other 
other things in their life. They want to motivate you. They want to encourage you. They want to inspire you. They want to teach you what the Lord has taught them. They want to help you get a solution to your issue like the Lord gave them a solution to their problem. You know, people give you access in that way, but you don't have access to their heart and to their spirit. So when you're speaking, don't speak like you like you're trying to <sighs> inflict pain to their heart or to their spirit because that's not your place. Mm. That's you being out of order. You're out of position. And God is here to get us back in order. So we thank you, Lord, that when we go through rough times, when we fall on our face, that we know that you can still meet us in that low place. And we don't got to save face for this world, that we don't got to be perfect for this world. I am the one you love. I am the one you love. I don't have to prove anything. There's room at your table for me. I am the one you love. Even knowing what you know about me, I'm fully known. And I am the one you love. God loves you, bro. God loves you, sis. I don't care who's struggling with something right now that they can't get out of. There's no place of sin that God cannot meet you in. There's no place too low for God that he's not going to come and get you up out of that thing. So don't listen to what the critics of the world have to say. Because people are always going to be talking about you. People are always going to have something negative to say out their mouth about you. And if they're not saying it, they're thinking it. So it don't matter what people think about you. And that's why I live my life like that. I don't care what nobody say about me. I don't care what nobody think about me. I'm concerned with how the Lord views me. So allow the Lord to be your judge. Allow the Lord to be your father. Allow the Lord to be your advocate. Allow the Lord to be your healer. Allow the Lord to be your teacher. Get off of social media and go put your head in the Bible. How about that? How about it? Go get filled up with the spirit. Please. With the knowledge that you need so that you shall not perish. Because you think you've made it, you think you've arrived, but baby, you haven't. You haven't. Mm -hmm. I still shut it up or host it in a bit. If I was in a room with some of y'all, I would be reading y'all left and right, left and right, left and right, able to tell you everything that's going up, going on up in there, okay? Because that's how that's the gift that God has blessed me with, okay? Get in a room in five seconds, I can read your whole life to you. You can be like, who are you? How do you know me? Listen, baby, it's the spirit. It ain't me. It ain't Dr. G. Mm. Hallelujah. God knows you. God knows what you struggle with. We might not be struggling with the same thing that our brother and sister is struggling with, but we still have our own unique struggle. So don't get it twisted. That's what this message, they keep coming up. Holy, I'm trying to get off this. Listen, the Holy Spirit keeps speaking about this. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. He don't need your help in this area. He don't need you talking negative about his child. Because he going to get his house in order. He going to get his house in order. You don't got to worry about that. God got it. Type that in the comments. God got it. Just how God had you. God got me. Type that in the comments. God got me. You ain't got to worry about me, bro. You don't have to worry about me, sis. I'm good. I'm in the care of the Lord. And that's how people should feel when they're around you. Anytime someone is in your presence, just like anytime someone is in the Lord's presence, they got to know that they good. It's safe here. It's a safe place here. You could be you here. And I'm going to love you through it. Because love is what's going to get people through they, they dark times. Love, encouragement, giving people hope is what's going to help get people through their dark times. It doesn't mean that you have to be a liar. It doesn't mean that you can't tell people the truth. But it's the way you administer that truth. It's the way you deliver that truth. That will change the narrative of someone's life. I'm an educator. I'm a counselor. I'm a trauma-informed educator and counselor. So I know my people. I know these relationships. I know how they work. I know how people think. I know how they, how they mind transform. I know how to facilitate change in somebody. I know how to help people evolve. So this is a trusted source. This is not somebody who, who, who do this for pretend. I do this in real life. Amen. Real life. I've been being trained by the Lord since I was 12 years old. 
<laughs> I know what he was doing at that time. Mm. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. Get your house in order, Holy Spirit. <laughs> come on, Lord, get your house in order. I hear you. I feel you. Because the audacity. People have audacity. Oh. Oh, Hallelujah. Let me get off of here. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for just being a covering over your people and for getting your house in order and continuing to shift our mindsets and our heart postures and our characters and the way that we handle people, the way that we treat the gifts that you bless us with, Lord Jesus. Allow us to be good stewards over everything under the sun. Hallelujah. Because we know that to whom much is given, much is required, but also what you give is what you can take away, Lord Jesus. So allow us to have a submitted heart unto you. God, to submit our lives to you every single day day that we are in divine order that we are in our rightful positions every moment of the day because it is easy for us to get out of alignment lord jesus and when we are far from you we can easily throw off everything else that you were doing lord god and so we just thank you for that repositioning right now during this time we thank you for your perfect will and way being done in our lives this time we thank you for the blood hallelujah that covers us and delivers us and heals us hallelujah we thank you for your strength right now lord jesus hallelujah Mm. we thank you for the oil that anoints us and that keeps us growing and going hallelujah that keeps us thriving in our purpose lord jesus we thank you for the water that gives us overflow the living water hallelujah the knowledge who oh, shall obey the wisdom the understanding lord jesus the mind of christ that we have by dwelling in your presence by you abiding inside of us lord god let us never get too holy too mighty too far in our faith walk that we forget that we were once sinners ourselves. That, that we were once confused ourselves. That we lacked clarity at one point ourselves. That we was mismanaging opportunities ourselves. Let us humble ourselves unto you right now, Lord Jesus. And ask you to do your perfect work in our lives. The goodness of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven is here. Hallelujah. Perceive the times that we're living through. Hallelujah. So you don't mismanage your season hallelujah we love you we cover and seal this prayer with the blood of jesus and in jesus name we pray amen and amen kingdom family i love y'all be blessed do not forget to be a blessing <sighs> take this message with open ears an open heart and if it's not for you go go tell somebody that it's for Go humble, go, go, go help humble another brother and another sister in Christ who might be just too far off on their high horse. Allow their heart and their mind to be back in submission to the Lord, okay? Do all things well and do all things with love. All right, my loves. The queen is out. Visit me at infinitelyhealed.com for any counseling and healing services that I offer. Dr. G will meet you over there. And now it's my heart. I'm doing my heart for y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah. Until next time. <laughs> All right, my loves. I know that was full of passion that message there but i was so not only was it early okay and the lord had me up speaking to me about this situation um i was so and i'm not going to mention any names if you've seen it you've seen it if you know you know if you don't it's okay the the message is in what i said and this applies to everyone especially those who god is elevating your platform and he's making you a leader he's having you to become a kingdom builder okay working for him working for the kingdom and you're going to have some type of uh public okay uh recognition like people are going to know who you are you might even be famous okay one day this is a reminder to always stay humble on that level okay because i was so disheartened in my spirit when i was reading comments about what how people were treating someone based on his position in the world 
and his identity, right? And we have to understand that we should not be idolizing anyone or putting too much faith in a person because our faith should be in Christ. Our faith should be in Jesus. We should not put so much faith in somebody that we're thinking that they're Jesus. We're thinking that they're perfect. We're assuming that they can never make a mistake again in their lives because of the title and the position that they hold, the status that they hold in life, the audacity of some of us, the audacity of some of us. I don't care about your following. I don't care how much money you have. And I don't care about the fame that God has blessed you with. At the end of the day, when all of that gets wiped away, or if something happens to your vocal cords and you're no longer able to sing, or if something happens to your body, and you're no longer able to, to move how you used to move or get on stage, how you get, you know, do the things that you used to do on stage. At the end of the day, you would just want a relationship. You're going to just want that person around you. You're going to just want a, a solid connection in this world to say like, man, you really helped me through a lot. Or man, you really inspired me. Oh man, like you, you really good people. You know, like you was there for me in my, is this my car? Because what's happening right now? You were there for me through my dark times when I didn't have anyone else. You know, you're going to want a relationship. You're going to want to experience love. And a lot of us get in these positions and we forget that Christ loved us through our weakness. Christ loved us through our darkness. Christ came and sought after us time and time and time again. And the only difference is you're able to make your mistakes privately. You don't have to make your mistakes publicly. The world is not going to know what's happening in your life publicly. So you get to hide and save face. But we're all sinners of something. You commit a sin every single day, whether that's a physical sin, whether it's a thought, whether it's an emotion or, okay, you're not perfect yourself, but you get to hide behind a door, behind a window, behind a computer screen, okay? And your following might think you all perfect because you're not out here. In, in, in the world and yes as a leader okay and as a kingdom builder don't get it twisted we do have a, a higher level of expectation to people people do expect you to speak a certain way to look a certain way to uh not post certain things okay about your life but i'm here to correct that narrative right now because god has blessed me when who when god called me to serve in his ministry to, to serve in his kingdom and to do ministry and all this other stuff that i never ever even imagined myself to be doing there was times where i still went back and did something that was left and, and he did not love me any less. He did not treat me any less. And he did not disown me like, oh, keep it moving. You ain't good enough for me. He never did that. He might have spoke to me privately. Okay. He might have convicted my spirit so that I wanted to change. He may have showed me the right way. Like, baby, do it that way next time. I didn't, I didn't really agree with how you did that. I didn't like how you did that. But do it that way next time. God never leaves us and his goal is always to protect us. He wants to protect us. He wants to protect our heart, our soul, our mind. And some of y'all, again, y'all are Christian gossipers. You leading people back to the world. You're not leading people to Christ when you do that. I would never feel comfortable speaking on what someone else has going on in their lives because as a trauma-informed counselor and educator, as I've mentioned, I understand that people go through stuff on a deeper level. They're struggling with things on a deeper level that sometimes they don't know how to, uh, how to handle certain things. It doesn't even have to be anything negative. Say if they don't have a traumatic background. Say if everything went perfect in their life. But this person has always had everything going well for them. They've always had money. They've always had... Uh, people thinking that they're handsome and, and gorgeous and, you know, always getting attention. The fame gets to their head. So now it's positive stuff getting to their head and they're like, oh, this is too much attention. I don't want it. Or, oh, I just wish I could be myself again. Or, oh, I just wish I could go to the store and, and live a normal life. This is what some of you are walking into. You're about to be a celebrity. You're about to have a a high status in life. And people are going to be expecting a lot of you, a lot out of you. But I'm here to dismantle the message and the narrative that you have to be perfect. You are not going to be perfect. And I'm speaking from experience. You are not going to be perfect. 
But that doesn't mean that you stop showing up. That doesn't mean that you hide away. And that does not mean that you come into agreement with what other people have to say about you. You go sit with the Lord, sit with your father and get right back again. But don't allow other people to place their, to project their stuff onto you. Because trust and believe, just because we don't see it, it doesn't mean that they're not living a double life. It doesn't mean that they're not doing something behind the scenes that nobody knows about. Okay? We can't speak on it because you ain't showing it. I respect the person that actually show what they doing and show that they normal. Showing that they relatable. Some of y'all get to these elevated positions and you become non-relatable. You act like you've never been low. <laughs> I'm not here to preach. I promise I'm not. Anyway, I'll leave y'all with this. Learn the lesson through this message that you're hearing today. And don't allow the Lord to have to give you an experience so that you learn the lesson, okay? Learn it just by hearing. You don't want to have to experience it. You don't want to have to have the Lord show you how to humble yourself. Just hear and get in a humble position today. Lay low. God will exhort you, okay? Lay low. God will advance you. God will promote you. Lay low. Humble yourselves and watch the words that come out of your mouth especially as it pertains to somebody else's life. That's their individual personal journey. And we're all on a journey to Jesus. That could be the names of some of y'all ministry. I don't even know if it exists already, but journey to Jesus, okay? <laughs> That's, we're all on a journey to Jesus and ain't nobody out here getting it right. Like, okay, we're, we're trying every single day. And when you speak about people, because my because the spirit lives inside of me and I, and I feel what the Holy Spirit feels sometimes. I was, I mean, the Holy Spirit but it was laughing. Like, I remember times literally, okay, I would go, oh my Lord, I would go and listen to certain things or do certain things or say certain things, okay? He never treated me the way that some of y'all want somebody to be treated. So that, that tells me that you don't know the heart and the character of God, my love. And so you need to go sit down. You need to go humble yourself. You need to go and find out who God really is. You need to go and really be in a relationship with my father. Because the man that you're speaking of, the and, oh, ka, 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 and that song that I was singing, I don't need what's the name of it? Y'all need to go listen to that. Because that's literally how I am the one you love. I don't have to prove anything. God will use the people who you think is not qualified, who you think is unworthy, who you think should be in prison, who you think ain't never going to amount to nothing in life. God is going to use those very people and elevate them in your face. face. And now you're going to be just an outsider, just an enemy looking at their elevation like, man, I should have treated that person better. Man, I should have believed what that person said to me when they was when they was talking to me about this. Mm. Man, I wish I could call or, or, or go visit that person. I mishandled them. That's because you misjudged the situation. You misjudged the person. And, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the name of the song. But listen, I've been there. I had to learn through experience, okay? Funny story real quick, and I'm going to let y'all go. I used to go to the gym. Well, I still go to the gym, but I used to go to the gym. Um, and I would say, I would see people taking a shower there. Like as soon as they work out, they go take a shower. And now I always go home and take a shower. Even if I had to, like, this is when I was working for other people. So even when I had to go to work, I would like leave the gym, go home, take a shower, and then, you know, get ready for work. But there's people who take a shower at the gym, get ready for work in the gym, and then, you know, go to work where they just take a shower. And I used to look at them, and I would tell my friend, and I would be like, I don't know how people take a shower at the gym. Because to me, the gym, it was a public place, and it was dirty to me. Like, that's just my own, that was my own, okay, way of thinking. I'm very, like, anal about certain things. Like, I like a clean house, a, a, a old, like, I need things to be in order because it helps me function well, okay? And so, I don't know if it's OCD or whatever, but, you know, I need things to be in a certain order. And so, when I think of a gym, I think of, like, dirtiness. I think about so many other people showering there. I think about their hygiene, and I'm looking like, Ugh. and I know they say they clean, but I don't really know, you know? And so, I was like, I would never take a shower at the gym, <laughs> I would never do that. I used to be dog. I'm like, why is people, why don't you just go home and take a shower? Why do you take a shower here, right? But they say it's, it's actually good, especially for ladies, for us to take a shower right after, right? Like, don't leave sweat on you, especially in our little, our little area, okay? So anyway, I don't want to get too deep. But God humbled me. 
baby okay because there was a time in my life where sis is homeless and i have no other choice if you wanted to wash ain't no other god bless you with a gym membership you better go in that gym and get in the shower okay <laughs> you better go okay okay ain't running to no family or friend house you out here and you got to handle your business you're gonna have to shower in in the gym or you're gonna be dirty and so I was humbled. I was like, Lord, I'm one of the people that I was talking about now, okay? And so listen, baby, don't be humbled by the experience. Be humbled by the message. Learn the lesson through the message that you're hearing, okay? Because you don't want God to humble you on his own. You want to humble yourself, all right? All right. Now, these people were showering in the gym because they were just handling their business. They had a home to go home to. I ain't got a home to go home <laughs> to. And I had to shower in the gym, okay? Mad, okay? Angry about it, okay? Whew. But I was humbled. Uh, Actually saying, I am the one you love. I actually sang this song to y'all before. Um, It's literally called The One You Love by... um. It's all of them. Chandler Moore, Brandon Lake, Dante Bo, uh, Maverick City. Go listen to it. The, if you listen to the lyrics, <laughs> it doesn't add up to how people are treating people, but this is how we should really treat people. Let me see if I could um, find the lyrics. Because that's this is the whole point. It says... I can be real with you. This is them speaking to their relationship with God. I can be real with you. I can say anything and not be afraid. You made me in your life what you made. You made me in your life what you made. You made me and you don't make mistakes. Okay, so God knows everything about us, right? He knows the ins and outs. He know when we gonna do something before we do it. So we're perfect in his image, right? Like we're made perfect in his image. And so you made me and you don't make mistakes. If God don't make mistakes, he already know everything about you. Like, even the mistakes that you're going to make, okay? It says, you take me just as I am. If God takes us just as we are, doesn't that mean to a certain degree until he starts refining us and pruning us and purging us, like he accepts us in our low places, in our sinful nature, okay? Until he matures us, he grooms us, he nurtures us, he loves us through whatever we gotta go through, okay? Mm. Whoo, hallelujah. You take me just as I am. You choose me all over again. I am the one you love. Look at how many times God had to pursue you. God had to pursue me at least three to five times before I say yes to the calling. I kid you not. He could have just forgot about me. He could have been like, you being disobedient. You ain't following me. You want to do things your own way. You rebellious. You still listening to Megan Thee Stallion and, and twerking to Cardi B and, or rapping Cardi B. I forgot. Anyway, and I still love me some Biggie. Okay, listen, baby, put, some, put a Biggie song on. Okay, your girl is wild. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> singing the whole lyrics all right little kim that's what that's what i was known for in college okay i used to bust out to the little kim rapping song but anyway i did somebody try to tell me <sighs> mm, anyway let me not get over track it says <sighs> what am i talking about hold on baby because Biggie and Lil' Kim threw me off. So, <laughs> it says, you choose me all over again because I am the one you love. I am the one you love. I don't have to prove anything. There's room at your table for me because I am the one you love. And I know that you're proud of me, even though I don't deserve it sometimes. No, I'm not a perfect child, but I still make my father proud or father smile. And I know you're proud of me. Mm. Whew, it repeats the chorus. You take me just as I am. You choose me all over again. And then it skips. It says... It's me you love. I know you love me, the real me. Okay, not the fake you, not the pretend you, not the representative that you show up with in the world, okay? Some of y'all can't even be y'all real self because y'all afraid of what people... That's why I said, put you in the field, you would faint, baby. If you... If people knew who you really was, that person that you at home, okay, who you really like, Behind the door, behind closed doors, that's why I just show up as myself. The same person y'all see in front of you, you can ask 10 people about Britney, they all gonna tell you the same thing. You can ask 10 people about, 10 different people about Dr. G, they met me in different areas, different places, different stages of my life. They all gonna tell you the same thing about me. Why? Because I never switch up. I never change. I'm who I am today, who I was yesterday, and 10 years from now, the only difference is gonna be 
progress. The, the Lord be promoting you, girl, okay? I can't help that. I'm blessed, blessed. Okay, the hands is anointed. Everything I put my hands on, it expands. Who shall I love Everything I put my mind to, it grows. Everything I speak to, it nourishes. And it sprouts up, okay? So I can't help that. I can't help the fruit you see in my life. But as far as my character, the core of my heart, that's all the same. That's all the same. And some of y'all... We don't know who you are because you you one way with this person, you one way with that person. You, today you like this person, today you don't like, like we don't know. We don't know, right? So the audacity again, type the audacity in the comments for us to like judge people in that way. You can't because if it was you, how would you feel? And some of y'all think it can't be you, I'm telling you. Some of y'all think it can't be you, but it can be you. That could be you. And if it's you, how would you want to be treated? Now, God already trained me up. He said the persecution is going to come with it. The persecution is going to come with elevation. So we built for this over here at the Keys to the Kingdom. Y'all know that, right? I, I, I train y'all up well, I believe. I'm speaking to y'all, okay, in a way that's going to build y'all spirit up. But you can't control what outsiders do, okay? You can only control how you respond to it, all right? But I would hate for y'all to come into agreement with what people have to say about you and it's not your truth, okay? That's not you. You are free to make mistakes. You are free to get things wrong. You are free to not know everything. You are free to not be a perfectionist. You are free to not have to have everything right or go accordingly, okay? He says, I know you love me, the real me. You know everything and you still love me. They live up on rumors, but you stay, what? They leave off of rumors, that's the words. They leave off of rumors, but you stay with the truth. That means God sticks by you and he know everything about you. Your love never fails, your love never fails. Your love never fails, your love never fails. What is he saying? Your love. <laughs> He's not saying your criticism. He's not saying your hate. He's not saying your emotional and psychological abuse. He's saying your love never fell. So what are we called to do to our brother and sister, for our brother and sister? And I'm about to give you another message about covering. Because y'all entering into a season where you're called to be a covering. And, and your heart got to be built for that. The capacity to cover other people, you got to be built for that on a different level. Some of y'all ready and some of y'all still need to be sitting with the Lord. Your love never fails. So your love for people should never fail despite what they do. Despite what it looked like on the outside because you don't know what the Lord is doing in them and you don't know how the Lord is going to use them in the future. In your life or in the life of someone else in their community. I don't have to prove anything. There's room at your table for me. God always has table for you, okay? He says, you're always pursuing me even though I'm not worthy. You're always chasing me. I'm so undeserving, but you call me a friend. You call me brother. How could this be? You became my friend. He's righteous, yes, but he's still my friend. And in all of his holiness, he's still my friend. Even though he's perfect, he's still my friend. He is closer than a brother, than a mother and a father. He's still my friend. In all of his greatness and all of his holiness, he is still my friend. I can call on him when I need him. Hmm. Mm. He's still my friend. He's never too busy to answer his son or his daughter. He's on the main line. Tell him what you want. He's on the main line. Tell him what you want. <sighs> I'll leave it there because... This message is getting me excited, okay? I need y'all to act like y'all know where y'all came from. Remember who you was when, when God came to get you, okay? Not who you are now. What makes me relatable from what I've heard, not from my own like perception of myself, is that people say, I didn't know it was this way to be with God. I didn't know it was like this to be with Christ, to walk with Christ. Or, you know, you're so vulnerable. You're so transparent. You're so authentic, Dr. G. Like, I didn't know, you know, or even like laughing or being able to laugh. Like, people think that God is so serious. And when they see me telling a joke or laughing or smiling, it's like, wow, this is light. This is peace. This is freedom. That's how you should feel. You should feel free in the presence of the Lord. You should feel like, man, I ain't never felt like this before. I feel like I'm high, but you high over the Lord, okay? That's why I never need 
get to smoke a blunt. Okay? I'm relatable, uh, listen, baby. Okay? I, I could be around. Some of y'all be smoking the weed and y'all get a little slow. That's the only thing. It's like, listen, baby, if you go, you got to keep up with me, okay? Because I talk a lot. You got to. <laughs> listen, baby. Okay? But no, me, I be high off of life, but it's the spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Anytime I drank liquor, it always made me sad. I always, I started to cry. Okay, I'm crying. I cry naturally, so I don't need no help with crying, okay? <laughs> All right? So I'm like, why? I don't need these substances. These do, this, this don't do nothing for me. I'm lit. Any room I walk into, I could two seconds, okay? I'm the hype. I'm the hypest hype woman you ever. It's a part of the gift, I guess, okay? Gift of encouragement, okay? I be out here lit every day, every day. And I dare someone to say, I'm not. No, I really don't care what y'all say. I'm so serious. I wish other people had that freedom. Like, baby, when you get that level of, like, no care, like, I don't care what you think about me. The Lord gonna work me out. We gonna get it together, okay? The Lord gonna get me together. Okay, the Lord got me. That's why I need y'all to type in the comments. God, Lord got me, okay? Because he for real, he did. He for real, for real did. And he kept me low for so long. That's why I'm happy. So, like, even in, when he elevate me, it ain't gonna phase the queen. I'm gonna still be... I'm going to still be myself. I'm going to still be me. And I'm, I'm, I'm putting this out here in the video because I always do that. I always say something because I love to see it come back. I love to see it circulate. I love to see what I said and then it actually happens in real life. And I'm like, yeah, I said that. Yeah, God told me that. <laughs> yeah, I knew that about me already, you know? And it's like, it's just beautiful, okay? And this confidence, this literally comes from the Lord. It comes from being in the presence of God. And so I can stay humble. I can be confident. I can speak firmly. I can tell somebody the truth. And I can also show people kindness and, and be joy in, in their presence and, and peace in their presence and love in their presence, right? Because it's the spirit. That's it. That's, we need more spirit. We, mean more, we mean, need more compassion. I was seeing somebody <laughs> say something and I'm like, man, that ain't even the spirit of God in there. I don't feel the spirit of God. And I could feel when I'm around people, I can feel the, the presence and the spirit of the Lord in people. You know, and, and I could tell when it ain't there. It's not there. But if you've never connected to the spirit of God, then you won't be able to recognize that what it ain't, you know? You don't know what you don't have until you until you <laughs> do have it or you know, if you never had it, you just don't you won't know. <sighs> and so this video is super long, but I needed to get this message out to y'all. Okay. The queen is literally out now. Um have a good night good morning good afternoon whenever you watch this video let it bless your spirit i pray that this helps some of you um because god is doing it you about to be elevated to a new level to new heights with new devils i'm not a rapper but i might be a poet <laughs> i'm gonna stop now because i don't know <laughs> so loud oh i feel bad for my kids they're gonna have the loud mom at the sporting events everybody's gonna know it's me that's right like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe do the brown do the brown cancel me annoying